rational and irrational numbers. Before going this chapter, I would like to explain all the topics in this topic wise. Okay. First of all, we learn about number system. Our first topic in this chapter will discuss about number system. Then we proceed to the chapter. Okay. When you are having look about number system, for example, if you want to count number of students in your class, or if you want to count number of books in your bag, so what you should do? You have to count with what number you will start? One, right? So counting numbers all starts from one. Counting numbers are known as natural numbers. In number system, the first system is natural numbers. We will denote with n. These natural numbers will start from 1. 1, 2, 3 and so on up to infinity. Now, in this natural numbers, when we include 0, so 0 speciality is nothing but, you know, 0 is uh, given by our Indian mathematician Aryabhatta. Aryabhatta is given 0. So 0 when we include to the natural numbers then it becomes whole number system. Now this is whole numbers. Whole numbers will denote with W. Now these numbers will start from the 0. 1, 2, 3 and so on up to infinity. Right. Now, including whole numbers, here all the natural numbers are in whole numbers, right? Next, including whole numbers, when we add negative natural numbers, then that is integers. Next number system is integers will denote with z. In this, along with the whole numbers, negative naturals. Negative natural is what? Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so on. Including 0, 1, 2, 3. We will denote with z. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, so on are whole numbers. Now, along with this, negative natural numbers we need to add. That are minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and till infinity. This is negative infinity, positive infinity. We will denote with z. So why will denote with z? You know z is actually this is a German term. Z A H L E N. Zalen. This is the German term that is used for integers to denote with z. We will den denote some books we can see i also. Integers we denote with i. But in future in some of next classes, 11th, 12th classes, we have integral topics that will denote with i. So instead of confusing that, they use z. Integers will denote with z. They are from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on up to positive and negatives. Now, next we have rational numbers. Rational numbers. Actually this is our topic in this chapter. We will briefly discuss in next topics. First we will see how the look what is rational number and how it is. Rational numbers we denote with Q. This is also German quotient. We will denote for the Q. Now these are in the form of P by Q. P by Q form. That means numerator and denominator. Here P comma Q should be belongs to integers. Because all the natural numbers are in whole numbers. All the whole numbers are integers. So, P comma Q belongs to integers we will take. And the important thing is Q should not be 0. Q should not negative uh, 0. Because something by 0 is undefined. P can be 0. Because 0 by something is 0 itself. Right? P by Q form. So, for example, what we can say? 2 by 3. Minus 4 by 5, 0 by 8, minus 1 by minus 2, 3 by minus 2, 14 by 12 and so on. These are all the examples for rational numbers. In this rational number one important thing is standard form of rational number. 
what is standard for standard form of rational number any rational number we can write in the form of p by q we should write in the form of p by q but condition is p and q there is no common factors except one for p and q no common factors except one here you see 2 3 for 2 and 3 no common factors except one 4 and 5 0 8 but here 14 and 12 1 is a common factor and 2 is also a common factor for 14 and 12 so this is a not standard form we have to reduce it how we can reduce 14 by 12 2 6 and 2 7 7 by 6 so 7 by 6 is nothing but 14 by 12 both are equivalent fractions so but 7 by 6 is the standard form so first, first rule is 7 by 6 means no common factors except 1 except 1 no common factor to make the rational numbers to standard form next one is no negative numbers should be denominator so neg no negative sign for example you see 3 by minus 2 actually we should write this as minus 3 by 2 both are equal 3 by minus 2 or minus 3 by 2 both are same but we need to write negative sign should be in the numerator place this is one of the standard form so negative should not negative sign should not use in denominator not use okay so these two rules we will apply for standard forms no common factor except one and there is no negative sign for the denominator so in next chapters next topics we will briefly discuss about rational numbers